Hi guys, my name is Christina and welcome to my channel and welcome to yet another episode of this drawing podcast. You might have noticed or you might not have, but in any case, I missed two of these episodes and the reason being is that I just, it, it was a combination of a lot of things. So today I'm gonna have a little chit chat with you about that, about what I'm drawing, but overall this episode is gonna be a little short. And then we're gonna go back to whatever the length of the op episodes we're usually doing. Um, so the reason why I was a little bit MIA with this episode, and the thing is, I actually was a little bit MIA from YouTube, but you guys wouldn't notice because I pre-recorded a ton of my videos I still have like I think 20 videos <laughs> ready to go and usually for me if I'm recording videos I'm recording like a lot at a time I record like tons of videos per week and then I have like moments when I don't want to do this so if I'm going if I have the vibe of recording I'm recording if I have the vibe of editing I'm editing and so I'm back like preparing for the days where I might not want to do this necessarily so I never want to push it however that's why I'm pre-recording like if I'm feeling the mood I'm pre-recording a lot uh, because I still don't want to miss uploads and I still want to be organized I'm not like I, I I'm trying to follow my moods and where I am at uh, instead of pushing myself, I'm typically just pushing myself. So I'm just organized. I'm a very organized person, but at the same time, I'm trying right now to like make sure everything brings me enjoyment and I'm not pushing myself. With this episode, however, this episode, I absolutely love recording. Like it's very relaxing. I just love just sitting with the microphone. It's just something about, you know, working with sounds fascinates me. But I had a combination of a lot of things happening, nothing, nothing bad at all, if anything, a lot of good things. So I had just overall a very busy times at work and I got some extra responsibilities at work and it's pretty good stuff. I got some new titles, so that's pretty exciting. And overall, just at work, I got an opportunity to do more interesting things. So, and you know, before all of that was settled, it was a little hectic times. And overall, I was just working a lot on the comic as well. I was starting a new uh, chapter, as you guys see here. And usually in the beginning of the new chapter, it takes a little bit of time for me to get into this chapter just because I'm still drawing backgrounds, right? So usually when I'm starting drawing, the backgrounds are not ready. I have to get backgrounds ready first to uh, start finishing some panels. And overall, I need to have a couple of pages finished so that I see how the like the chapter or the scene is coming along so this is kind of just important for me to do but i cannot do this until backgrounds are drawn and i had to fish for some pages that have the use of just one like angle of the background i don't know i will uh, talk a lot of it in more details in the next episode that's going to be longer and we're going to be talking about it or maybe i just even going to do a whole new video about this but overall it was a little hectic on the side and at the same time I travel to Vancouver. I'm not traveling internationally. It's domestic. I'm, I live in, Ontar in Toronto and I travel to Vancouver across the country, which is perfectly fine by Canadians, by Canadians current uh, restrictions and I'm fully vaccinated. So I was following everything, but I decided to take this opportunity to travel within Canada and overall I'm challenging myself because I'm afraid of flying i'm terrified of the planes so and i know it's like it gotten worse over the years so i need to actually push myself to fly more to event like so that fear doesn't build up so anyway i traveled to vancouver for four days and this kind of covered the weekend so i obviously didn't draw this weekend so but overall i had this vacation and decided not to stress myself out to get these videos out specifically i had videos going on on the channel anyway every week so I decided to take a break in this sense and usually in my work if you take a vacation even if so technically I took just one day of vacation because it's kind of coincided with Canada Day which was July 1st which was Thursday so I took just one day around there and I took weekends and obviously Canada Day is a stationary holiday but in my line of work uh, in visual effects industry every day matters and especially if you're delivering some shot if people are expecting something uh, it's basically you gotta you gotta deliver no matter what you take a vacation we'll deliver ahead then so usually if you take vacation unless it's a you know very long vacation that you blocked out some time before uh, it, 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 and where people are just prepared not to rely on you during this time but overall, the more responsibilities you get, the more like 
the <laughs> work needs you in that sense. Like the more you get shots that needs to be done and cannot be outsourced to other artists. We usually don't outsource or like shots to uh, other artists within the team just because it's confusing. Like it's the shot should stay within an artist and if the shot needs to be done, it needs to be done vacation or not. So. Uh, usually before vacations you get extra busy at least this is what it is in my experience and I kind of do two jobs for my company I do matte painting and like it's a VFX part when I'm doing backgrounds and concepts and whatnot but at the same time I'm doing branding marketing graphic design for like marketing purposes for my company so this is a completely different job that I have at my job so long story short uh, I have like I was uh, super busy stuff was super hectic and then I had vacation so <laughs> it was but it was good uh, and now I'm very excited to come back I already been drawing like I skipped maybe like several days of drawing definitely I skipped the days or oh, that I had on the vacation but overall I had great time with the vacation I came back I started drawing today it was amazing day of drawing uh, I, so it's I'm just enjoying and having fun super inspired even though I like inspiration is not to sit with them after but they just feel in the flow I'm in the flow of creative process it's amazing so things are good things are good with me I'm coming back with more videos and I started recording new videos more which you guys will not notice because I have so many videos lined up uh, you will you will never notice but Oh yeah, and another thing that happened, I got Canadian citizenship. So it was a very, like June was a very hectic month. There were was a lot of changes and upgrades and good things. Like overall, they're all good. Like stuff with work is good. Um, things with comic is good. My citizenship, I got it. I'm a citizen of Canada, finally. That's amazing. I traveled to Vancouver, and it, the, the city that I've never seen. Loved it. I traveled to Alberta. Uh, to Banff National Park, the also in Canada that, you know, I've been to this place and it's just a lovely place. I just absolutely love, I just need to go there frequently. I got fully vaccinated, so a lot of things were happening in June, so it was very hectic. So that's why there were not videos like this uh, coming. So sorry, you guys. And this video is like more of a catch up overall. And uh, as you can see, like it's just 15 minutes. So uh, I hope I hope it's OK. I hope you guys are interested. I don't know if let me know or no. No, I'm not that type of YouTuber yet. Nobody cares what I'm doing. <laughs> Nobody needs life updates. It's OK. Uh, but yeah, let's actually talk drawing for once. Um, and yeah, as, as I'm saying, like there will be like longer video coming next time. But overall, as I already mentioned this, uh, scene that I'm drawing this is a new scene in this new chapter and overall like I just overall always feel this kind of pressure every time I'm starting the new chapter because the new chapter is like a new unit of work and if I wanted to do some improvements in the whatever I'm doing I don't like doing this improvement mid chapter like I don't like you know the chapter style or something changing at all like me chapter I, I like consistency you guys probably know because I'm completely redrawn chapter two just for the consistency reasons and spent months doing that uh, but yeah so every time I'm starting a new chapter I started with a question what do I want to improve what difference do I want to make what I want this chapter to be and to me it's just very important to kind of plan for this and also it's a, a little bit like I get a little nervous as well because as I'm starting this chapter like I haven't finished any page and I want to finish a couple of pages to see not only like it's, it's like a combination like I, I'm asking myself what I want and then I see what I can deliver uh, and ideally in ideal world you deliver exactly what you want but you know as an artist I think you're always kind of questioning your style wondering what can be improved wondering if this is if you're doing the best you can if you want to improve or shouldn't improve that like what's the I don't know for me it's always like my struggle because when I think improvement I'm thinking more for the real uh, it's just that it is for me, like draw more for the real and faster. And I don't know necessarily if it's the right way. And I just, I have all sort of confusions um, about that. So for me, it's at the same time, I want to improve. Uh, and then at the same time, I want a consistency. And at the same time, I want to draw faster. And at the same time, I want to finish a couple pages to see if I'm actually delivering what I'm delivering. How's the chapter coming along? Is everything fine? Because it's always nerve wracking when you're putting like the character work, the drawing of the character together with the background, and then you decide what, like, at least I like to add some extra treatment on top. I like to have some 
not like lens flares, but like some glow, some color correction on top. I just like to have something on top that blends it together and I need to get the feel of the scene, like the color wise, the composition wise, like what that, how does the scene coming along? Does it look too much like another scene? Is like the location is clear? Is everything clear? Because this is always my concern. And yeah, so, you know, starting the chapter is always hectic. And especially since I was busy, I noticed this thing that if I'm not doing my comic for some time, like not like for some time, like what I'm saying for some time, it, it sounds like I mean months, weeks. Uh, no, if I'm not missing, for example, three days of my comic and I'm missing them, not because it's just I'm just not drawing. I always want to draw my comic. If something like, for example, the work day job just takes me till 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., I'm usually very tired to draw and I don't like drawing in the tired state. I don't like associate creating my comic with like just being tired or pushing through. So if something like this happens, I don't typically draw. Uh, and there was a couple of days in the raw as kind of described that I was busy and things were happening. And, you know, I wasn't drawing for like a skipped uh, couple of days. And when it happens, I noticed that I get stressed and I get stressed and other areas of life start stressing me out obviously something like work I cannot say oh my god guys you know I cannot do this wait I need to focus on my comic even though comic is my job like it's it's both of them are my jobs it's it's up to me to manage my time there and the kind of calculate when I have extra time like if my day job is easy I take more time for my comic and to just kind of build momentum and collect the pages so that when my day job is a little bit uh, more packed up, I have, I kind of pre-drawn something. But then I see, but if, for example, this lasts for some time, I start freaking out, like for example, my friends or other people on the phone to see me, and I start freaking out because I know that I, I need to draw my comic, like I need to have something done, I need to add something today. So I just notice that if I'm just keeping, even. I think two days is fine. Three days is when I start getting nervous and I start giving this, not like anxiety, I don't want to use the word anxiety for this, but kind of become stressed and nervous and a little bit, I would say maybe dissatisfied. Like I feel like something in my life is missing and it's almost like you don't have time for yourself. Yeah, for me, comic is just my time time for me, myself, and I, with, for all my <laughs> all voices in my head to spend time together, uh, voices in my head being the characters. And if I don't have it, it's almost like I, I don't have me time at all. Like I don't have time with myself. And this is how it feels. And I get stressed and nervous and grumpy and, you know, canceling all social arrangements. And yeah, just this is something that I noticed that potentially was something else that was going on. Uh, a little bit and maybe create a whole video about this on its own because I don't know maybe it's a little specific to me but you know if there is like artists out there you guys let me know so but this now it's good it's fantastic today I just had a great drawing session I found this nice audiobook because for me it's another challenge to find a good audiobook because I'm extremely peaky extremely peaky sometimes I just want some adventure book but at the same time I'm very peaky to the smartness of the book I need it to be good writing I don't need to to have necessarily uh insane the plot of the story that has become just famous for the story that it is but I need the writer to be a good writer and I don't want to see some I don't know like popular young adult type of books or some popular books that's supposed to be adult but they're actually not that I don't know rambling time overall but you guys, sorry, this video is rambling, but I felt like I needed to catch up, even though I'm not that YouTuber yet. Uh, so yeah, this is kind of a little bit my catch up type of video and what I decided to just talk to you a little bit, explain where I've been, what I've been up to, and the next video in the series that is coming up is gonna be uh, like just very long, proper video because I have a lot of footage overall. So fear not, more things are coming and uh yeah uh hope you guys are doing okay hope you in fact i hope you guys are doing good now that things in the world are looking up a little bit uh so yeah thank you so much for watching you guys and i hope to see you in my next one thank you so much guys bye